Well, hello. We are headed to Pueblo and we just left the house. We're getting, we're filling up with some gas and we are going to go find some vintage for you guys today. Hopefully. Um, we'll see what that brings. And Mr. Coleman is pumping some girls for us and uh, we're going to go get into it. So let's see what we can find guys. just entered the thrift store. So far I've got a piece of Pyrex in the case and there's a cute little decanter down here that I'm gonna get for 10. And then there's another one right there. Got a little planter. Look at this pretty thing. Again, these are thrift store prices, okay. We've got a fit and swung glass vase in the case for 40, yikes. This little guy is $12.99. And looks like another pretty one down here for $20. Yikes, thrift store prices be killing me. I really love that uh, little canister. Oh my goodness, so much to look at. Hi! decided to do this because yellow stickers are half off today so this would be 20 and so it would be 10 so yeah we'll do that for 10 that's really pretty look at that all right looks like we've got a little milk glass shoe i love the fitting shoes because they always have the kitty 12.99 so that would be half off okay we'll do that too thank you Old fishing rod, that's cool. Yeah. I think this is Indiana. Let's see what this is. What does that say? Italy. So that would be half off, but it's a little chippy. Sure, it's pretty though. I don't know. For eight fifty. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So these two are Fenton and they are not on sale. They are not half price. So they are going to stay here. Got some little Hazel Atlas crinolines back here with some weirdness on them. What in the world? Somebody's gotten crafty with these. Okay, I'm going to pass on those. Let's see, what did you find in the case? I don't think we can get this guy. Oh, he's cute. I love him. He's got a leader host on. Yeah, and he's got his bells, little Austrian dude. West German. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. Alright, there's our pile so far. Did you want this one? That is totally up to you. Yeah. You are the it's glass man, half, David. It's not the true glass man. <laughs> um, this one though. What do you think about him? He would be half price. So ten. So he'd be ten. Yeah. You want to do that guy? Thank you. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. I kind of want to look at that green canister down there too. Will you get that out for me? Oh, wow. Okay, that is like gorgeous. Um, not half price though. Dang it. What is this? Ooh. Anything on the bottom? No. Huh. I don't know, but we're going to have to leave him for 15 darn Hyrex. Um, spring Blossom. Yes. David with the long arms coming in hot. Look at this. Uh, $12.99. Oh, and it's half price. Yeah. Okay. $12.99? Is there a chip on this? Is that a chip? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's like the tiniest. Look at what good condition they're in. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do them. I love that. Even with the tiny chip, I feel like for a collector, that's not a, not a huge deal breaker. Mm -hmm. um, some little geodes. I think this is perhaps California Pottery or Shawnee, or no, this is Royal. This is Royal Copley. Copley, Copley. The debate will live on. Um, that is 10. I'm going to pass on that for 10. 
And then what about down here? Oh, what is that? The Chuck's blade. Yeah, it's newer. Mm. That's really pretty, the twelve ninety nine one. Yeah. Is there anything underneath that? Looks nice. Green. Okay. All right. So the pass on. I gave her yesterday. Let's see here. And then I definitely want to get in here. So we're gonna take a look at this decanter. Really pretty in amber. It's to be in good shape. Ten bucks. That's really pretty. Let's see it in the light. Love it. Okay, so we'll definitely take that. And then, David, was there anything else in there? Is this is Indiana glass piece. Oh, that's oh. pretty. We've had that in green before. Yeah. It's got a big chip, though. Pretty All right. All right, and this I love. I've sold this one before, but at $12.99, I am sadly going to need to pass. And we will leave her for another person. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you sure? That's all Am you I sure? I know, right? I know, right? We should probably look on over here. No, I think, I think we're good. Oh, oh my gosh, David. Do you remember the Noid? Was he, was this Domino's Pizza? I want to say this was Domino's. Oh my word. So, but the Noid is $5. And he's going to stay here today. But he's funny and he is collectible. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Looks like we have an Empoli bottle back here with no stop and stop. We have Francie. Oh, and Francie's ordered up. I think she's in there. Ouch, 80. And it would be kind of that today, but still, that's a lot for Francie and her busted uh, little house. So. Probably will leave her here. Look at that owl back there. Okay. You see that? Oh. That's made on a bone, I believe. That is. Oh my gosh, I think it is a bone. I think it's painted bone. All right, David, go for it. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. Oh my word. Yeah, it's like a pelvic yes. bone. Wow. Okay, this is different. Hold on, let me back up. Wow. Different. Yeah, I need Definitely it. can touch that nose up too. Not a big deal there. Yeah. Oh really my gosh, I think it has glass eyes. Yeah. It's really odd. That's yeah. a cool oddity. I like it. I'll take it. All right. <laughs> See? Thank you. She, <laughs> so no, earlier, she no, said, fine. Do you always talk to yourself when you shop? <laughs> and I said, Yes, she does. Yes, I do. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm filming. So oh, thank no, you so much for taking right. my thank stuff. So have we you have too. a pile up there. You too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you've been at my live sales lately, you know that I've been having fun sourcing scarves. And look at this one. Oh my God. This is an old one. It is, doo, doo, doo. what are you? Bye, David. <laughs> David's gone. He's in hog heaven. He's already had a good day here at the thrift. Um, ran and silk made in Japan. So cute. United States Science Pavilion. Oh, look, I think there's the Space Needle. All right, I'm going to have to get this. This is super cool. Loving it. Yeah, All right. We got purses. We got jewelry. All the jewelry. Oh my goodness. I had some stuff like this in the 80s. What about you guys? Definitely did. That is too fun. I love these. I'm totally buying these for myself. Let's see, we've got some brooches. What? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I like to sing while I'm thrifting and looking at all the doohicks. So I'm kind of a slow thrifter. Um, David's fast. David is one of those people that like flies over everything super quick. 
to do a superficial once through and then he'll come back and deeply pick. I start with the deep pick and uh, that's kind of my methodology. I go slow, but that served me well because I find cool things going so slow. seal colors today are blue, orange, yellow, and pink. Okay, I found a cute brooch. Look at the daisies, I love this not on sale but it's only three dollars so cute oh my god i gotta talk over that lady cute little pink shoe for $1.99 love it i'm sure it's made in japan so cute this is a really interesting brutalist sailboat very cool. I love this piece. I think David would love this piece. Extra rough edges. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like the patina with the weird marks on it. That's great. Oh my gosh, look at the drip glaze. This is awesome. Great mid-century like pheasant, peacock. Let's make sure there's no damage on this guy. Yes, this is beautiful. Love it. Looks like we missed a little drip glaze right there. But the colorway on that guy's work is definitely going to get that. What is this? Oh, this would have been a part to one of those mid century round bowls. There would have been three others that go with it and then a bowl for the center. Looks like California pottery. Yep. So pretty. All right, I'm going to leave this one for someone else. I'm taking the bird. Guys, this is a gorgeous piece of butterfly taxidermy. <gasps> Look at that beautiful frame. Love it. Yes, 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 yes. All day long, yes. So good. Okay, this is a really different one. Very pretty. I love the markings all around the side and the top. It would be half of $3.49. And it is Treasures of the Pharaoh made in Japan by Elizabeth Arden. So I'm guessing this was probably a powder puff at one time because Elizabeth Arden is um, a cosmetics manufacturer. And this is gorgeous. I'm definitely going to pick this up. I love it. Got a little Hummel. Girl, cruel. So sweet. I honestly um, think this would look great with a Hummel collection. Let's see here. It's 20 bucks. Aye. We're going to put that down. Now, granted, it would be half of that, but I'm really not, not feeling half of that. No, not feeling it. Now, we've got a Last Supper. A really great frame. So, it'd be five bucks. I don't know about age. And it's really heavy, like extra heavy. I don't want to ship it. Okay, this little Scottish lady is absolutely precious. And she's older. She's got her little kilt. Oh my goodness, how cute. Okay, there's no price on her. All right, well, we will ask for a price. And I just love her. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, that's never good. Oh, he's busted somewhere. Poor guy. Got his hands cracked. You might have to stay here, little doggy. Um, hmm. Very pretty. Got another piece. In Japan. Very pretty with the little butterflies. Um, it's a ceramic hobnail, which is kind of weird. Looks like we're missing some of the applied flowers that are right there. I'm gonna leave that behind. What is this? <gasps> what are you? This is Strawberry Cat. It's a quitter bell and it's half price. Okay, no, she's not a strawberry. She has little flowers. She's just got strawberry colors. That is so cute. Okay, I'm totally on the fence. Um, Jasco, Taiwan. So it's 70s. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I don't know. 
bells though, right? None of us really find them terribly desirable and collectible. I'm gonna probably pass because she's a bell. But God, she's so cute. All right, found this little tray. This is so cute, it's hand painted would be half of that. I think that is great for Christmas. And it has a folk art feel to it. I love it. Definitely gonna grab that. Alrighty. There's so much in here. Oh my goodness. Finding all the things today. This has been a good little thrift trip. Kitty meow meow. Little roller skating. Kitty. This little guy, look, 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 look. Oh, I have to do this, yes. Yes, 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 love this. Oh my gosh, so good. Cute. All right, you guys, what is this? This is so cool, what is this? It hangs, okay, it's got a leather strap. What is going on? Is it a lantern? Seriously, I have no idea what this is, but it needs a good cleaning. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to think about this one. What would you do? What would you do, guys? It needs a good cleaning. Okay, I think I found Freud. I'm not sure. He's a little mystery guy. He's very old. Um, he's got a scar. He looks a little cantankerous. Um, I love him. What a weirdo. Okay, sold. Oh, she's pretty. What a lovely piece. Eight dollars. Let's see here. Cabbage leaf. Nice ruffle. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna snag this. Let's see what these are. Oh my gosh, look how cute. She has a kitty and a bird. Oh, I love these. I love these. I love these. I love these. 99 cents each. Sold. So cute. So, so cute. Oh, dear. What have we here? <gasps> it's Fifi. <gasps> Hi, Fifi. Oh, my dear Lord. Fifi is a toilet paper cover, guys, for your bathroom. She sits on the toilet paper. I am dorking out. Yes, I would like to come back to Colorado Springs with you, lady. This is Fifi. People are looking at me like I'm nuts, and I am. Alrighty, looks like we have a gorgeous Payton City Glass candle holder. It is $5. And this is, I believe, a West Virginia glass company. And it is in great shape. No chips, cracks, or funkiness. And these were manufactured usually between 1915 and 1951. Oh my goodness. I remember I sold one of these years ago on Instagram. It's an as is, so we're not going to mess with it. And it's like uber filthy. But these are treasure craft. Very cute little Pueblo style home appropriate because we're in Pueblo I love that <gasps> what are you hold up the phone oh my gosh look at you oh my goodness <laughs> look at her little bottom all right now let's see we're missing a leaf that's a bummer how are her hands she's got all of her fingers, but I'm thinking that there is a thumb that has been repaired. She has a hairline on her face. That is too bad. She is just in too rough a shame. I love her though. I think she's just darling. She's definitely older. I'm going to leave her today. Too many boo-boos for her. Got another little lady. She's been picking apples. I I feel like she's a hobbyist almost. Pretty rough paint. She would be half of that. I think I'm gonna leave her today. Her eyes are so cute though. This little babe is a candle. Look at that. Oh, I love this. It's like a little winter fella. Oh, he's so cute. Definitely want him. No price though. 
So we're gonna have to find a price on that guy. Sorry. Alrighty, looks like we have an old lusterware, peach lusterware casserole bowl. Kind of expensive. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that behind because of the damage. Pretty piece though. Love my peach lusterware. Well, look what I found. These are the actual old Pyrex ones. And I know I found some of these a while back and I had so many people message me about them. So I'm gonna definitely pick these up. It looks like they're all in good shape. 99 cents a piece. And I know so many people were interested because this is what grandma had. So I've got three of them coming, guys. Just found them. This is such a pretty pattern. I've sold it before. This is Lifetime China from Alliance, Ohio. And that is an interesting way to spell turquoise. Look at that. Beautiful little magnolias. I love the blue color. And then these have a silver instead of a gold. They have a silver rim, which I think is really nice. And they're all in good shape. So that one's got a boo-boo right there. But I'm gonna leave them. I don't do a lot of plate sets, um, but I do like them depending on the ones that I find. Sometimes I do pick them up, sometimes I don't. And it is the curse of the Green Goblin. I know you've heard me talk about the Green Goblin before, and it is this glass bake green pattern, which I'm pretty sure is like the most common uh, casserole pattern ever. I find it almost every time I go out. Oh, all right, looks like these are Fire King. So it'd be half of that and they match and these are just sterling especially if you have like an anthropomorphic fruit kitchen going on got the 1950s fruity fruity kitchen thing so i'm gonna snag both of these looks like they don't have any damage super cute let's see what's down in here this is the more, more of the glass bake pattern green goblin strikes again Okay, those aisles were intense. Holy cow, I feel like I found a lot of stuff today so far. And this is the first stop at Arc Thrift. We are in Pueblo, and it's half off day. Whoop, whoop. All right, so let's see. This is so cute. Northcott Silk Ink. And look at that adorable pattern of the little mod lady. Yeah, I'm gonna grab that. So, all right, found a couple of really pretty Afghans and Definitely gonna snag these. I love the colors in this one. So pretty. Those will be coming soon. Great shape. And then here is my cart. David found these really cool. What do you call these, David? Are, do you fill them with like yeah, lighter fluid? No, these are the ones with just a regular candle. So you pop them out, they're spring loaded. Yep. They're went, and you fill them with these little guys. Oh, so no So that kidding. way there's no mess, I think. Okay, that is so cool. Okay, those are amazing. So those are kind of like the metal candles that you might use at church. Yeah. Um, and then got my fire king, got my butterflies, got a piece of Viking, some Pyrex, a little bit of kitsch, some glass, some scarves, a tray. I'd say for a thrift stop, this is pretty, pretty great. So we are going to go check out and get our stuff from the case. Um, up at the checkout and head to the next place. All right, let's see what we can do in here. There's all the people that stole stuff, baddies. Oh boy. I don't know how I feel about this. I haven't been in here in a long time. This is a bunch of like, This is liquidation grabola, which can be fun. Like, ooh, I love that. But not for 20 bucks, you're tripping. Okay, so weird. I would safely say we're good. Yeah. You wanna go? I think so. Okay, bye. Hello, hello. Here we are in, hi, hi. We are in downtown Pueblo. Kitty, kitty, meow, meow. It's a big boy. We can't pick it. Why? Coffee. We have to go get coffee. Oh, Remember? we need to head over to the Sacred Bean. Yeah. 
this coffee place has apricot mochas and pretty much any flavor that you could ever imagine of deliciousness. So we're gonna go get a coffee and then, and then we're coming back to uh, look at the things at Union Antique Mall, must get caffeinated. Hey, all right, we are in the flea. Look at this gorgeous piece. It's huge, but oh my God, it's so cool. Love this. Look at all the pretties. Oh my goodness. So many fun things for Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness. All my little heart goodies. These are great. We have gotten into a little treasure trove of kittens. These are cute. This one's 10. This one is a little pin cushion. She's cute. I love this one. Chadwick for 14. A little pricey for resale, but you know who is just right? This little baby. Oh, so cute. Little red yarn ball. Oh, and there's the little friend with a little beat up blue yarn ball. Awesome. I know, right? I, I when I get down on my knees. I know. And then we're going to go downstairs. All right. So, so far, I've got a kitty. Meow, meow. Okay. Meow, meow. We'll meow, hold meow. on to Okay. All right. Look at this. I love that little birdie right there. Going to check out some of these things. Look at these gorgeous brooches. Those bees are so cool. Absolutely beautiful. Got some more, looks like vintage and antique hair clips and brooches. And then some little miniatures. Look at these little guys. They're just itsy bitsy tiny. Some little glass chickens. And then we've got some collies and a kitty. Oh my gosh, look at the little angry dwarf man. Him's, ha him's angry. Okay, I love him. And the tiniest little Lalique Nina Ricci perfume bottles. We've got a sweet little black poodle. And we have a little chihuahua. That looks like my Frankie. I'm getting that. In honor of baby Frank. Uh-oh. There's half of Humpty Dumpty. He really did have a foe. Look how cute. I see all kinds of wonderful things in this case. Oh, look at her little left and mermaid. That's actually a really good price on her. Cute enamel brooches. Got some Van Briggle candlesticks. Those are beautiful. More enamel. All kinds of funsies in here. Artisania, Rinconada, and some more enamel brooches. Such fun. Oh, I love everything in there. All right, so check this out. This is an Italian pottery horse, and it is 175, and it is from the 1950s. It is Italian, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Such a pretty little piece of Viking glass. Looks like it's red. Might be Ellie Smith. I'm not sure on that one, but man, that is gorgeous. 25. Definitely too high for resale, but such a pretty piece. Look at these beautiful lamps. I love the green color on this one. Some really pretty Hager pieces. This is absolutely gorgeous. That is McCoy. Reminds me of a Van Brigle wash. Oh, look at this lamp. It's got a new shade that I don't like, but look at that lamp. Good night. So good. Beautiful piece of Fenton. They're calling it black, but that's actually amethyst. Mid-century lamp. Look at this guy. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. This one's really interesting to you. I don't know. This one's like a hobbyist kind of thing. Maybe. I'm not sure. I've never seen it like this before. Wow. 
located a 50% off booth and I've been looking at some of the kids books because these are so much fun. You know if you're like me you love vintage kids books. So we're just gonna see what we can find. That is Thumbelina. That one's super cute. Super scope tour storyteller. The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin. Yes, this is plastic Beatrix Potter. Let's make sure it's in good shape. Oh, that's great. Cute, cute. So that would be a dollar fifty. We've got the bar. I used to love those. Miss Donna Parker, special agent, and Annette at the mystery and the mystery at Moonstone Bay. And she's on her right. So these are the ones that I picked out. We've got a Silly Sydney, a Thumbelina. You're in love, Charlie Brown. Donna Parker, special agent, and the Tale of Squirrel Nutkin. Also fun. Half price. I always like this booth. It is cute and they have good style. All kinds of funsies in here. 25% off all the framed art and wall decor. That little cruel is gorgeous. Looks like it is 30 and it is so pretty but with 25% off that doesn't leave me a lot of room so I'm gonna leave it but man that's so cute I love all the little funsies here love the mid-century looking things sold a vase like this recently that is so pretty definitely um, has some paint wear to it though um my eye is drawn back here to this little treasure craft ashtray slash dish. It's a heart and it's bright yellow and it's $9 and I may just keep that for myself. Holy cow, happy Valentine's Day to me. That is so cute. Oh, it's just adorable, look at this. 702, classic wood grain treasure craft pottery. Oh, and that yellow yummy drip, that is so cool. Wow, look at these from the 1900s, Warwick. Love it. We've got the classic, looks like a monk in an apron. And he's enjoying himself a, a beverage. Amazing. Great big picture. And then there's two of these pieces that match. And they are Warwick as well. That is a new one to me. I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with Warwick. I was not, so I just learned a new thing out picking by myself today, yes. I was drawn in here also by the chandelier and it is absolutely spectacular. Italian flower lamp, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And I love that it takes the flame style bulbs and it even has like a little butterfly on it at the top. Yeah, this is really cool. I don't have a place for anything like this, but if I did, oh my gosh, I just love it. Great style. Well, we've got lots of Fiesta wear and tens in here. And what is that? A Mr. Magoo sighting. There he is. Do you see him? All right. Well, that was a fun little adventure, yeah? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. All right. We this are at pretty much one of our favorite places, Cotton's mm. Antique Emporium. Hello, you're going in. Let's see what we can find. Wow, look at this. This is made of human hair. And this is a traditional, this says it is 1850s to 1880s Victorian hair mourning wreath. And this is absolutely spectacular. Just so good. I definitely am thinking of Ariana. I know she has one of these. Um, this is just such a gorgeous piece, my God. And it's 20% off, so wow. What a spectacular piece. Oh, do you see what I see? Oh, he's so cute. It's a little hedgy. Stuff. Oh my gosh, he's got his tags. 
Oh my goodness. Original everything. Mini Kogi. Oh. And he's 20% off. So I have to do him because he is absolutely precious. I cannot even. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. A hedgie from Stife. Yes, please. All right. So again, everything in this booth is 20% off. And this Minton vase is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Look at the design on this. It is so cool. Very, very heavy crazing. Ugh, love this Minton vase. I want it. But alas, I will leave it. This biscuit jar is beautiful. Let's see, it is Victorian pink quilted satin for 58 with 20% off. Gosh, that's so cool. Oh, those two pieces. Yes, please. All right, more 20% off action here. Look at this. Oh, it's a meow meow with a little spool. This is either Shawnee. I'm not sure. This may be Shawnee. Nope, it says Hull. Okay, so 16 with 20% off. That's going to be a definite yes. I love this. This is so All right, I am shopping another sale booth, and these I thought were really charming, and they would be 25% off. There's two pieces, and I was, of course, drawn in by the little bluebirds. And then this is hand-painted Prussia Royal Rudelstad. So I know Prussia is something, at one point my grandma had some and my dad collected. So I definitely feel, have a good feeling about these. So they're $12 a piece and then they would be 25% off. So I feel like for $9 a piece, it's definitely doable on the Royal Prussia. All right, I always enjoy this booth. There's always a ton of cool stuff in here. This is interesting. Wow, this is so pretty. Oh, that's neat. It's a paperweight. Look at that. That is an awesome piece. That's a pretty little carnival swirl bowl for 12. Let's see here. That is a neat little paperweight, but it's got some weird texture to it. It's five, but I'm gonna leave it because that texture is weird to me. Love that little guy. Oh, this is Van Brickle. Sure enough is. Um, yes, I'm with you. For seven. Definitely yeah. gonna do this. Doesn't have any chips and cracks. It's the black drip glaze. That is excellent. Alright, so I'm going to put that up there. I see something else back here. Oh, look at this. Oh snap. David's gonna love this. Vintage Ruffle Edge Opalescent Tulip Base, nine. Look how pretty this is, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, nine dollars, David's gonna lose it. That is beautiful. Definitely gonna do that. And sometimes the kitsch just finds you. It's 25. Um, I can't leave without this. It's so cute. There's a little room on it for profit, but God, it's so cute and it needs a home. And look at those eyes. Oh, it's just precious. We're gonna look at his little bottom. K, K, Japan. Oh my God, this is so cute. All right, well, that's a win. Yes, I have to have this. So these are some final finds, some last minute finds. Of course, cookie jar and the Crosno. That is the Isn't it the cutest? Thing. I know, I know. I could not resist the cookie jar. And the price was really good on Yeah, it. I feel like it is. I looked at it, I'm like, I did not need to bring it over here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I know. Thank you ladies so much for wrapping everything so beautifully. Oh, you are so welcome. Appreciate you, it. You coming in. Heck yeah. We love you guys. Love this place. We are at Cotton's Antique Mall and we closed it down. No one else is here, guys. It's just, well, <laughs> yes, they let us privately shop after they were closed. So how great is that? And it has been such a fun time. If you are in Pueblo, Colorado, definitely come check out Cotton's. It's downtown. 
on the historic strip and it is just a lot of fun all kinds of fantastic stuff in here so great